In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a Sin City effect on an image using Photoshop. For this tutorial, we will be working on this free stock image over here. So let's get started by duplicating the layer first. For that, move to the layer panel, select the image layer and right click on it. From the options, select duplicate layer from the list. This will create a copy of the same layer. Next, we will go to the image menu, move over to adjustments and select the black and white option. Over here, we will adjust the settings to give a black and white effect to the image. So let's start by reducing the reds to minus 18%, yellows to 28%, greens to 23%, and cyan to 28%. The thing is, we want deeper blacks for the image. Therefore, we will be reducing the blues to negative 16% and magentas to 40% as well. Now it's close to what we want, but still not quite there yet. In order to handle the color variation more closely, we will add the curves adjustment to the layer. For that, let's go to the image menu, move over to adjustments, and select the curves option. Now we will adjust the graph accordingly. First we will create a placeholder by clicking on the graph here and moving it a bit upwards. This will darken the overall image a bit. Now to darken the objects which we are focusing on, we'll go to the top of the graph and move the placeholder a bit towards the left side like so. With that done, let's click on OK to close the window. Now the main objects are exactly like how we want them, but the backdrop is a bit darkened. For that, we will add a levels adjustment to the layer. For that, go to the image menu once more, move over to adjustments, and click on the levels option. Over here, change the shadows to 15 and midtones to 1.25 respectively. It must be kept in mind that these values will differ according to the image that you are using here. Next, from the layer panel, we will make another duplicate of the original layer and move it to the top. Now let's go to the image menu, move over to adjustments, and select the hue saturation option. Over here we will select a reddish hue and increase the saturation of the image as well. For this image, we kept plus 148 for the hue and increased the saturation to plus 25. You can experiment with different values according to your image. Now we will create a layer mask on this layer and pick up the brush tool. Make sure you keep the opacity of the brush to 100% and pick up a soft brush with hardness set to 0%. Before applying the brush on the layer, make sure that the layer mask is selected and that you have a black color set as the foreground color. Now simply start applying the brush over the background. For this image, we will leave the color of the dress as it is and apply the brush over the rest of the image. When dealing with edges, make sure you apply the brush tool carefully. You can zoom in the image, decrease the size of the brush, and avoid applying the brush over the parts you want to keep colored. With that done, the Sin City effect is now complete. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.